Welcome back, this is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today is part two of this glycemia and what do you look for on a daily basis? Last week, we compared normal blood sugar and people who have hypoglycemia or low blood sugar. Today, we're gonna to compare normal blood sugar and people who have high blood sugar or insulin resistance or diabetes. So when we have normal blood sugar, you wake up in the morning, you feel normal energy, you feel rested and you're ready to go. When you wake up, you have normal appetite, you're hungry, you wanna eat breakfast. You're not craving sugar, you just wanna eat breakfast. Hunger between meals, but not sugar cravings. So between breakfast and lunch, you feel kind of hungry when you get around lunchtime. You don't feel like, oh, I wanna have like a chocolate bar. You just feel like you're hungry and you want to eat something. There is no change in function between meals, meaning your energy does not fluctuate, right? The brain um, cognitive abilities don't change with or without the meal. Fatigue does not change or your energy does not change after eating a meal, okay? So it's normal blood sugar. When we compare that to someone who has insulin resistance or prediabetes or diabetes, they often wake up not feeling rested or recovered. Their body feels kind of very heavy. They have a difficulty time getting out of bed. And when they get out of bed, they crave sugar. They get crave sugar cravings, a muffin, cereal, right? Uh, something sugary. They often will eat the high sugar and high starch breakfast, right? I need toast, right? Potatoes. Uh, a bagel, right? These high starch foods. You get more sugar cravings throughout the day. You fatigue after meals. This is a critical uh, feature. After eating, what happens is that you get an upload of sugar and your body cannot handle it or process it correctly. Your body converts that excess of sugar into triglycerides or fat. The process of changing sugar to fat takes a lot of energy or ATP. Therefore, your body will start to feel fatigued after a meal. You crash after lunch. You're that person who gets lunch around, let's say 12 or one, get back to the office. You're sitting there around two o'clock and you're nodding off in front of your computer. You're shaking your head, I gotta get up, right? Therefore, you will crave a stimulant. You want a cup of coffee. You know that you're going to fall asleep or you're going to feel very drowsy and fatigued. So you'll get a cup of coffee to ward that off. And then you have difficulty falling asleep. What that means is after dinner, you'll sit on the couch and maybe you'll nod off because you have high sugar in your system, right? You start to nod off. And then when you actually get to bed, you're wide awake. Right? You might lie there for 30 minutes, an hour, hour and a half, right? three or four episodes of Netflix right? before you can finally fall, fall asleep. That's what happens with high blood sugar when you compare it with normal blood sugar. Okay? So what I'm going to do now is compare or give you the, the most essential signs and symptoms of people who have blood sugar dysregulation. It's very easy. Okay? If you have normal blood sugar, you will have no change in fatigue or energy. There's no change. Whether you eat or you don't eat, you, you might feel hungry, but your energy level does not change. With low blood sugar, right, or hypoglycemia, what happens is your energy improves with the meal or after eating. So you ever see that Snickers commercial, right? You're hangry, angry, hungry, right? You're irritable. And then as soon as you eat, you go, oh, I feel so much better. My energy is better. My mood's better. My headache is gone. With insulin resistance, there is fatigue after meals. So after you eat, you feel tired. You feel like you're going to doze off, right? You need a little nap. You crave stimulants. So the distinguishing factor. Normal blood sugar, there is no change in energy with or without the meal. With low blood sugar, energy will improve after eating. 
with high blood sugar, you will actually get fatigued or more tired or sleepy after eating. It's a very simple thing to do, right? You need to figure out which one of these categories do I fit into? And if you do, you need to run the proper testing. Figure out where are you, right? How bad is my blood sugar? How bad is my low blood sugar? You need to figure that out to improve your health. Because if you don't, whether you have hypoglycemia or hyper or high blood sugar, it does damage, right? It does damage in terms of cortisol fluctuation, insulin fluctuation, inflammatory processes. A high blood sugar will damage your arteries and your vessels, right? Um, damages the small endings in the nerves, right? So it's very important to figure out early on where you fit in these, these categories to help yourself and improve your blood sugar, okay? Go ahead and like and subscribe to the page. We will continue to uh, deliver quality uh, videos for you. And my name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.